Hulkamania runs wild! The match, WrestleMania 2, Hulk Hogan vs King Kong Bundy. 7th of April, 1986. November 2nd, 1985 edition of Saturday Night's main event, Hulk Hogan teamed up with Andre the Giant and were victorious over King Kong Bundy and Big John Studd. On March 1st, 1986, during the closing moments of the WWE title match, Bundy ran into the ring and, with Don Morocco's help, initiated a 2 on 1 assault on Hogan. Repeatedly crushing Hogan with the Avalanche. Corner Splash. The Avalanche Corner Splash. Hogan suffered multiple broken ribs. With revenge on his mind, Hogan decided to ignore his doctor's advice and accept Bunny's rematch challenge. Which would be settled inside a steel cage at WrestleMania 2. Oh yeah, brother. April 7th. I was free at the time. Exactly free. That's my birthday. Some nice pictures. And a lot of history in WrestleMania. A lot of those wrestlers are no longer around, man. Sad. Oh, poor Hulky Hogan. This is the main event to be held inside of a steel cage for the WWE Championship. The winner of this match is the first man to exit the cage, either through the door or over the top, accompanied by Bobby the Brain Heaton, introducing the challenger. From Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing 468 pounds, King Kong. That's a big boy. A big boy to beat. We can do it. We just hulk up and kick his ass. Yeah. Well, he's hyped. Well, time for the real American to show up. Hulkamaniacs, uh, eat your vitamins. Uh, you guys do? Yeah, you hear it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Hulkamaniacs, if you are still around in the world, let's go beat up King Kong Bunny. Uh, Hulk has done some questionable things in his life. A lot of questionable things in his life. But, and we're placing it in this day and age. Back then, he was the shit. Although, he's now getting the shit kicked out of him. Ow, right in the nose. Now he sounds like this. Yeah. Okay, focus. I don't want to lose the second match. What? is Slam Bundy. And escape over the cage wall. You could just, you know, climb out of the cage right now or go through the door. But you don't have all the historical objects, and if you don't have those, you don't get all the bonuses. I'm going to go for all the bonus stuff. That's fun. It's fun to unlock stuff in a game. Not just having it all when you boot up the game. It's fun to actually have to do something. I like it. Moderate. I'm getting there. Whoa. Critical. There we go. Uh oh. Mommy? Boy. Well, I'm not afraid of his size. 
everything he has, and Bundy is still standing. In a match like I this, need to win. Animosity involved. The WWE Championship is almost secondary. Oh, Bundy can't there we go. That's the Buddy Slam. These two are going to go at it until we have a clear winner. Hit him with a finisher. So he's knocked out. He's out. Now we should be able to just climb the cage. There he goes. Oh, I forgot about this. Crappy mechanics. Well, at least the pinning mechanic in these games are still pretty awesome. In the later games, they're horrible. Sorry, King Kong. Look at these guys fighting. Well, slowest climb. But I'm getting there. Boop. We did it. Got the victory, brother. Here is your winner and still WWE. Yeah, Bobby Eaton is scared. Such a great manager, Bobby Heenan. Also an awesome commentator. I liked him better as a commentator than a manager because back when I was a kid, I really didn't care much for managers. He just thought they were just annoying. Even when I got older, I was still like, yeah, they're pretty useless. But as a commentator, I love Bobby Heenan. Such a prankster. Yeah, we can hear the fans. It's all good. Who would have thought that this guy would make for such an amazing heel later on when he joins the NWO? That's the Hogan that I like. With the sort of sprayed on beard. <laughs> Black and white gear. The music, I, that was just awesome. But back when I was a wee little kid, I liked this Hogan too. I have to be honest. We're all a little Hulkamaniac. Anyway, we got old historical objects. The Bobby Heenan, King Kong Bundy, WrestleMania Arena, and Hulk Hogan. Nice.